Hey friends, today we're gonna to talk about a process that's so crucial, it can enable you to send your climb before you even leave the ground. This is the skill and discipline of route reading. If you're struggling with progression, especially between V3 and V5, this process can really change the game for you. I referenced my climbing journal and on March 20th, 2019, I started practicing route reading. At that point, I hadn't sent a single V4, but just one week later on March 27th, I sent two on the same day. Even later on in your climbing career, route reading still makes a massive difference and it speeds up the pace of progression significantly. I wanted to put this skill to the test by doing a climbing session at a gym that I hadn't visited recently. My rule was that I wouldn't start any of the climbs before reading the route and writing down all of the moves. That way, I was forced to record and refine my thought process before I even touched the climb. The results were astounding, and it really encouraged me to make this video so that you could experience the same benefits in your climb. But before we move on and look up at the wall, I wanna ask you to look deep inside yourself and find the strength to give this video a like and subscribe so that I can keep making videos and connect with awesome climbers like you. But to start us off, I wanna walk you through the basics of route reading as shown on this white V3. The first thing to acknowledge is the kind of terrain you're climbing on. The angle of the wall and any changes to it over the course of the climb are gonna have a big impact on how we use the holds, so we wanna make sure to take note of it. At its most basic level, route reading is gonna be identifying all the handholds and all the footholds, but beyond that, you can identify the motion that your body is gonna take and that's gonna be a crucial step too. Because when you know how your body is gonna move, you can start visualizing how it will feel and even activating those muscles to kind of teach your body the movement. If you do this well enough beforehand, you can feel familiar on a climb that you're doing for the very first time. The first climb that I did gave me a really crucial reminder that even when you read the route, sometimes things play out differently on the wall. The thing to note here is that route reading isn't gonna mean that you onsite everything, but it can pretty much guarantee that you'll make far less attempts. And here's a fun fact, but I have a really bad fear of heights, so look at my leg shaking when I do this high foot. And that's in the gym, after a year of consciously working on that fear outdoors. So you can imagine how bad it was at first. Next up is this red V5 with some shallow pockets. No matter how much you read the route, you're always gonna learn things when you're actually climbing. With this climb, as soon as I actually jumped on it, I realized I could eliminate the first few moves of my sequence. And here's an important note. Do you see how it says right foot bump in all caps? I realized from the ground that the volume was gonna obscure my view of that hold. So anytime you're route reading, try and make a note if there's a hold that you're not gonna be able to see on the climb and really just put an exclamation next to it in your mind so that you remember to use it. I made a huge mental note of that foothold and it was pivotal in getting the flash. The highlight of the day for me was flashing this blue V6. When I was writing out my sequence, because I was closer to my limit, I wasn't sticking rigidly to moves. I was also considering possibilities. When I laid out this first move, I tried to lay out the options. Reach up your right hand, find the best grip, bump accordingly. But when I was actually on this climb, I learned something that I wasn't expecting at all. Even though the holds were way less positive and farther apart than I thought, and my sequence wasn't as dialed as I wanted it to be, and so I had to make all these exhausting adjustments. I felt like I was able to try really, really hard because I had mentally run through all of these motions already. My body was fresh, but my mind was resolved. And I always had the sense that I could try really, really hard because I was in control. So I think it was really helpful to have that roadmap to the top, even though there was a lot more detours than I thought there was gonna be on the way. So I hope this encourages you to give route reading a try. Even if you're doing it already mentally, maybe try doing it by actually transcribing your moves and recording the climbs and seeing how closely you stuck to your beta. Especially if you're stuck at a plateau, I think this can be really, really helpful. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you're resting, rest well. If you're training, try hard. And if you're climbing, have fun. I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If you think you're gonna give route reading a try, or if you have, leave me a comment. Let me know how it went. And if you're looking for more climbing videos, check out this playlist right here.